Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to my vanity tour slash makeup collection video. I'm going to try to do this as detailed as possible. I'm gonna show you guys everything. I cleaned off my vanity and moved some things around so I'm just gonna show you guys and we're just gonna have a good time. You already know it's gonna be a long video so grab a snack, a drink, whatever you need. I like to do these videos every year and just see how my makeup collection changes over the years. I think I've been doing them every year since 2019 I believe. So I have quite a few. I'll make a playlist and link it in the description for you guys if you want to see. Over the last couple years I have downsized quite a bit and I only have things that I absolutely love in my collection and that makes me love my collection even more. So yeah let's just let me stop talking and let's get into the video. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe. Okay, we're going to start on this side of the vanity. I just have my brushes back here. Some of them is dirty, so it don't look too hard. And then on top, I have my makeup wipes I'm almost done with. Got those from Marshalls. And I have my little Hello Kitty mirror tucked here on the side. This is from Impressions Vanity. I also got this from Marshalls, and it does light up. It has three different settings. In the front, I have my little Hello Kitty bow that I got off of Shein years and years ago. It wasn't even advertised as a Hello Kitty bow, but when I saw it, I knew it was a Hello Kitty bow. So I got it, and it does open, and it has like little compartments and stuff, but I don't really use it for that. I just use it for decoration, and I just leave it right there. And I think it looks so cute. I also have this little Hello Kitty cup that I got from the Hello Kitty Cafe. And in the inside, I just have my lip pencils, the mascaras that I'm currently using, my ring light remote, moisturizer, I have a pen, this is the lip gloss that I'm wearing today, just little things in here. I got this little travel bottle from Aniso and I put some micellar water in there and I'll just leave it over here. So that's everything in this little corner. Now moving over here, I just have these little jars also from Marshalls. This has my Q-tips in it. This one has some little spoolies. And then this one has cotton pads. And they're Hello Kitty, how cute. They're from the Crim Shop. And they have the little Hello Kitty top. And I'll just keep them right here. like that and then I have this little mirror that I recently picked up from Marshalls it's an impressions mirror and it does light up and then I also have my Hello Kitty fan back there and that's everything on this side of my vanity now moving on to this side of the vanity I do have my handheld Hello Kitty impressions mirror and I have this impressions mirror that was gifted to me for Mother's Day last year. I cracked it. It came with a warranty and I don't even know how to utilize that warranty. So if anybody knows how impressions vanity warranties work, please let me know because it was purchased with a warranty. It, not the warranty that it came with, it was an additional warranty that was purchased. And I just don't know how to reach out to them and get it fixed because I've tried. But for now, I just have a cracked Hello Kitty mirror, but we'll be fine. Moving over here, I just have my little stand that I keep my iPad or my phone on when I want to watch videos or record all of that I use this for a different thing so I just keep, I always move it around it's not always right here sometimes I put it over here I can move this around anywhere but and behind that I have some palettes I have my Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk palette I have my Dior what is this called amber neutrals palette I have my Beauty Creations Nude X Mini Palette, and I've been loving this palette so much. It's so good. Let me see if I can get my camera to focus better. This palette is so good. And I have my Nude X Palette, which is the full size to the other one that I just showed you. I have my Revolution X Plastic Boy Palette. Love this palette so much. And then I have my Pat McGrath, what is it called? Mothership palette. Uh, Mothership, it's one of the Mothership palettes. And this is what it looks like. I think it's Mothership 5 actually. And those are all the palettes that I keep on my bed. Just for easy access. And 
And then next to it, I just have some setting sprays. This is the Pixie Fixing Mist. And then this is the Crumb Shop Setting and Priming Spray. And I just keep them on here because they go with the decorations on the bag. So that's everything right there. Now moving up here, I have a lot of makeup on this little thing. So let me try to hurry up and show you guys. So I do have some more Beauty Creations products. I have some of their bronzers up here. I have the shade Sun Honey, and that's what that one looks like. And then I also have the shade Wild Sun, and that's what that one looks like. Then I have some blushes. I have the shades My Favorite. I love their packaging, by the way. It's so cute. But this is My Favorite. And then this is Vibing With You. Oops. Behind that, I have two of the Lifter Plump Glosses. I have the shades Hot Honey and Pink Sting. And I just keep those up here to get some use out of it. And I also have my Beauty Creations. These are some lip plumpers from Beauty Creations that I really like. I have the shades um, Legally Hot and Pink Lemonade. So... I just keep those right here. I also have my remote for my Hello Kitty ring light tucked on the side and it does change colors. I like to keep it on pink of course. So it's on pink and you can cut it off and cut it on. I just leave it right there so I don't lose it. And then over here I have my lip mask from Beauty Creations as well. And I have some lip products. So I have some Maybelline lip glosses. And then I have some lip oils from Beauty Creations as well. I, I've been falling in love with Beauty Creations. They're such a good, affordable brand. I have Cherry, the Sweet Treats one, and then Watermelon. And then I have the Peach one back here. And I'll just keep my lip mask on top. And then in the back, I have a backup of my Watermelon one because that's my favorite one. Over here, I have some lip glosses from. Let me try to get them out. Okay. Over here, I have some lip glosses from ColourPop. I have these three. I love their So Glassy formula. It's so pretty. The purple one is my favorite. And I just keep those tucked on the side. And behind that, I have a lip scrub from Beauty Creations. And that's everything on this top little shelf. Now moving on to this shelf here, I have some blushes from ColourPop. I'm going to show you guys these really quickly. I have the shade Sweetheart. Oops. Okay. This is the shade Sweetheart. And then I have Hot to Touch. This matches my nails perfectly, by the way. Look at that. That is so cute. This is what it looks like. I have the shade Cupid's Bow. I think some of these are actually highlighters, if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, this is actually a blush. It's a lavender blush. It's so cool. This one, I believe, is a highlighter. This is in my feels. And that's what it looks like. So pretty. This one is my favorite. This is the shade Baby Cakes. This is the one that I bought that made me buy all the other ones because I love this shade so much. And then I have Love Me Not, which is like a red. I also have a couple of fancy blushes up here. I have their Blush Duo and Peony Droplet and Malibu's. This was from their Christmas collection last year. Already. And then I have two of their cream blushes. I have Fancy Glow, which I use this as a highlighter. And then I have Rose Latte. These are pretty old, but I'm still use them. And that's everything on this shelf. Moving on to this shelf, I have all of my fancy highlighter duos. So, actually, they're not all duos because this one is just a single highlight. This is What a Brat, my favorite one. I love that. I have Penny for You Thoughts, Mean Money Hustler Baby. This was my first ever fancy highlighter. Then I have 7 Day Weekend and Poolside, Trophy Wife. 
this was my second Fenty Beauty highlighter because that one was sold out when I went and got the first one. This one is Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset. Minted Mojito and Sandcastle. Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. And then I have their Diamond Balms. I have the original How Many Carrots. Who doesn't love this? It's so good. Mine is crusty. And I have Cognac Candy. Oops, mine is broken, but that's what it looks like. So pretty. And then I have two of their giant ones that they came out, out with a while ago. This one is Pecan Swirler. And it looks like that. And then I have Chocolate Swirler, which looks like that. And then I have a couple more of their cream blushes that I actually need to store up top. This is Drama Class, and it's their purple one. And then this one is Fuego Flush. And that's what that looks like. And I'm going to store these up here. And that's everything on this shelf. And that completes everything that's on top of my vanity. But now we're going to get into everything in my giant makeup drawer. That's what I call it anyway. Because this drawer is literally packed with makeup. Starting over here, I kind of have this mixed up a little bit. But it's supposed to be like eyeshadows and like, I don't know, just a bunch of stuff. So I have some MAC eyeshadows over here. I'm going to show you guys my favorite one instead of showing you every single one that I have. This one is broken, but it's my favorite one, and it's the shade I like to watch. I'm going to open it so I can show you guys how pretty this is. I've had this for so long, and it's still my favorite. I'm trying to get it to focus. Okay, there we go. It's so pretty. Let me actually so watch it for you guys so you can see what I'm talking about. I hope they still sell this shade because I will buy another one, but... That's what it looks like. It's literally so pretty. So over here I have my ColourPop single shadows. I have this Vanessa Myricks um, Blurring Balm powder. Some AOA eyeshadows. And then I have some liquid eyeshadows. These two are from Juvia's Place. I recently got these. This is one from Armani. NYX. This is actually a lip gloss from Rim Beauty. That doesn't even belong in here. This is an e.l.f. liquid eyeshadow. A glitter primer. Another lick, another NYX liquid eyeshadow, Armani, NYX, and Rem Beauty. And then I have another one from ColourPop that I recently picked up that is so pretty. I'm going to swatch it so you guys can see. That's what it looks like. It's so pretty. I love that. I kind of want to swatch these for you guys too. These um, liquid eyeshadow from Juvia's Place is so pretty. Look at that. So pretty. I like the other one too. I'm going to show you guys both of them. I've been really getting into liquid eyeshadows. So I have a few now. So pretty. And then back here I have some cheek palettes. Let me move this off the way so I can put these to the front. So I have some cheek palettes. I have the Dior, what is this one? The Backstage Glow Number 1 palette. And that's what it looks like. I have my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer in the shade 4. And then I have all of my Juvia's Place palettes. I have the Volume 4, Volume 6. And volume 5. And then I have... Oh, actually, this is another one. This is volume 1. And then I have one of their bronzer as well. This is the shade Dark. And then I have this blush highlight palette from Pat McGrath. It has two blushes and a highlighter. And then I have my Girly Pop from One Size So pretty love that 
then I have my Such A Rush Cheek Palette from ColourPop. And that's what that looks like. And that's everything over here. Now moving along to my foundations. I have the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I've been loving this as a foundation. I'm actually wearing it as a foundation today. And then I have my Le Beige. I don't even know how to say it. It's a skin tint from Chanel. I was feeling very bougie. And I just picked it up. It was $70. And it's okay. It's it's okay. But it ain't, it ain't all that. I believe I used points on it. So I'm not too mad. And then I have this Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is my favorite foundation. It's so good. And I have my Dior Backstage Foundation. This is a close runner up. And I have the shade number 5 in, in this one. And I have the shade number 10 in the Armani Foundations if you guys are curious. And I have my NARS. Mine look gross. I'm so sorry. But this is the Light Reflecting Foundation in the shade Mikhail. And then I have my... NYX Bear With Me Blur in Nutmeg. I have my Estee Lauder Double Wear in 6W1. My Fenty Skin Tint in the shade 20. And then I have this Uma Foundation in the shade T3W Brown Sugar. I love this. It's so good. And then I have my Morphe Foundation in the shade Rich 30. That's all of my foundations in here. I do have a few more in my other drawer, but I'll show you guys that later. And then up here I have this little compact from Rim Beauty, or Rare Beauty, I'm sorry. And it has a powder puff with powder already in it. And you can just like touch up your makeup and then it has body sheets. This is mainly for my purse, but I just have it right there. And then I have some concealers. I have all of my fancy concealers on top because this formula is my favorite. And then I have e.l.f. I have the uh, what is this? I have the Hydrating Elf Camo Concealer and then two of the Hide and Peak Concealers from Morphe. I have another Elf Camo Concealer. This is my favorite shade. This is Deep Caramel. And then I have the shade Warm, Fair Warm. I usually use that to like prime my eyelids and stuff. I have my Backstage Concealer, my Armani Concealer, two NARS Concealers. I have my Fenty bright fix concealer or under eye brightener and then I have some LA girl concealers underneath there and that's all of my concealers in this drawer now moving along over here I have some liquid products so I have this liquid blush from Javia's Place in the shade Rosy Posy Glow it's so pretty look at that it's like a blush and a highlighter in one and when you blend it out it just looks so nice i hope you guys are seeing that and then i have my rare beauty blush i have some fluid sheer glow enhancers from armani beauty that they sent over to me i have all three of them and they're so pretty i want to show you guys the pink one look at this that was way too much i'm going to need a makeup wipe but look how pretty that is you can either put it on top of your makeup like a highlighter or you could put it under your makeup. This one you can even use as a blush if your skin tone is lighter. And yeah, you could put like your blush on top of it and it'll have like a nice little glow. And then I have my Camo Liquid Blush as well. I have the shades, what is this? Peaky Promise and Very Well. Let me get a makeup wipe. I went ahead and grabbed the whole pack just in case I swatch some more. And behind that, I just have my other liquid product. So I have my Fancy Beauty Liquid Highlighter in the shade Hustle Baby 2.0. I have this Merit Highlighter. So pretty and so subtle. It's for like a nice little subtle glow moment. And then I have my two Fancy Matchsticks. I have the shades cinnamon and espresso cinnamon is like a highlighter stick and then espresso is like your contour stick and that's everything that i have in the back that's everything that i have back there 
Now moving over to my powders. I have quite a few powders. Okay. So I have my Laura Mercier powder. This is their translucent medium deep. This is actually their ultra blur powder and I really like that powder. And I have this Givenchy powder, their Prism Libre powder in the shade number five, a Laura Mercier, one size, Fenty, Beauty Bakery, Urban Decay, Hourglass. I have two Fenty's. I have a lavender one and then I have the shade Honey. I love the lavender one. It's so good. And then I have my Beauty Creations powder in the shade Honey Me. I actually don't even remember how I have this. Okay, there we go. That looks about right. Next to my loose powders, I have my pressed powders. I have two Rimmel Stay Matte powders. This one is really old and it's cracked and I think I'm going to get a new one, but... This is the translucent and then this is the toffee one. I actually just repurchased this one because this happened to my last one. And then I have my Fenty Pro Filter powder. Love this. Cannot go without it. I have my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Finish Powder in the shade number two. Essence Brighten Up powder. Two NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop powders. This Wet n Wild um primer and finish powder I actually really like that and then I have my L'Oreal infallible in the shade copper and then my elf camo powder foundation in the shade 42510 and those are all of my pressed powders now we're gonna get started with my blushes I have a ton of blushes so I'm gonna try to speed through this I have two Dior backstage blushes I have pink and I have cherry. Two of the Giorgio Armani blushes in the shades 11 and 61. These are so pretty. This one is actually my favorite one. And then I have my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Intense blush. This is so pretty. I'm wearing it today. MAC Raisin. Then I have these two Glow Play blushes. I have So Natural and Rosie Does It. They don't sell those anymore, but I like them, so I keep them. These two Huda Beauty Glowish blushes. I have the shades Charming Cherry. And then I have the shade Very Juicy. I also have this Maybelline Fit Me blush in the shade Berry. And I always think this is so pretty when I put it on. And then I have some Ioni blushes. I have a lot of Ioni blushes. Let me show you guys how many I have. I'm not going to open each one of them, but just to show you guys how many I have. I have so many. Let me show you guys a few of my favorites. Starting off with Phantom. This one is so pretty. I can't even believe this is from Dollar Tree. This one I recently picked up. This is French Pink. Look at that. Dollar Tree. I can't even believe these are Dollar Tree. And then this one is called Peach. This one's more like a highlighter. And then this one was also a recent pickup. This is Eternal Youth. Oh, this is a highlighter. I'm sorry. That's a highlighter. And... That's all of my Ioni blushes and then I have this MAC Stranger Things blush. I actually really got this because I really love Stranger Things. Not that I really really liked the collection but I just wanted something from the collection so I picked this up and it, because it went on sale and I love Stranger Things. I love Stranger Things so much. We can talk about Stranger Things all day but we won't. So let me put everything back. Okay, those are all of my blushes in that little compartment. And then I have more blushes over here. I have the wet, no, the Essence blush in the shade Believing. This one's very pretty. And then I have some Milani blushes. I have the shade Mood Kiss, Cherry, Cherish You, um, Merlot Moment, and You're a Peach. Next, I have some baked blushes from Milani. This is Cherry on Top. And then I have Peach Me. 
This one is Sunrise Serenita. Serenita. This one is my favorite, Coco Felicita. Love this one, it's so pretty. And then I have a Laura Mercier blush. I haven't even used that, but it's so pretty. And then I have Always Spicy from e.l.f. Oh, I have one more back here, or a couple more. I have two NARS ones. I have the shade Orgasm. And then I have the shade Blissful. Next, I have my bronzers. This is the Danessa Myricks um, Bronzing Balm, I think is what it's called, in Deep 2. I haven't tried this yet. I actually recently picked this up. And then I have my Anastasia Cream Bronzer in Hazelnut. I love this one. So good. I have a big dip in mine. And then I have my L'Oreal Infallible Bronzer in the shade Dark 500. I have my CoverGirl Full Spectrum Bronzer in the shade Ebony. Colored Rain in Naughty Spice. Sephora Bronzed in Ibiza. This ColourPop one in Pacific Beach. Then I have my Fenty ones. I have Mocha Mami and Coco Naughty. This one has hard pan. I feel like every time I buy Coco Naughty, it gets hard pan because this is not the only one that got hard pan for me. And I just don't know what to do about it. But I love that shade so much. And then I have their cream bronzer in the shade Chocolate. Then we're going to start on my highlighters. Because I have some highlighters on this row. So I have the Anastasia highlighter in Iced Out. And that's what that looks like. And then I have my NARS Ibiza highlighter. So pretty. And then the Dose of Color is Gold is a new black highlighter. And that's everything in this row. Now moving over here, we're going to get started on my highlighters. So up here I have this Stila highlighter in the shade In Cadence is what it's called. And it's a really pretty pink, but it kind of shows up gold. That was a horrible swatch. Let me try again. So it shows up like gold, but it's like pinkish. And then I have my Charlotte Tilbury blush in the shade Rose Gold Glow. The Chanel blush in the shade, what shade is this? Warm Gold. I've had this one for years. And I still have the little brush and everything. It's so pretty. I have some of my MAC blushes. I have Show Gold. I have gold deposit this was probably one of the first highlighters i've ever had in my life and then i have whisper of guilt so pretty hot damn i never forget the name of this one it's so pretty and then i have double gleam and old darling oh i have one more i have actually a couple more back here let me grab them I have this one in the shade Flare for the Dramatic, and look how pretty this is. I need to just go ahead and throw away that box, but it's so pretty. And then, and then I have my MAC Selena highlighter. This is a collectible in my eyes, okay? Look how pretty the packaging is. Look how beautiful she is. And look how beautiful that highlighter is. I'm never getting rid of this. So, I have that. Oof. I wish I would have got some things from other collections of theirs. But this is the only thing that I could get my hands on. So, I'm actually going to just take everything out and put it back later. Because it's getting a mess. Next, we have this milk highlighter in the shade Glazed. And it is so pretty. Then we have my Master Chrome Highlighter from Maybelline. Another Stila Highlighter in the shade Bronze. This is one of my favorite highlighters. It's so pretty. I know it looks subtle right now, but when it, when you put that on your cheeks, it just does something. And then I have my Rim Beauty Highlighter in the shade Honeymoon High. And this is so pretty. So pretty. Then I have this little mini Laura Geller um, Gilded Honey Highlighter. If you know, you know. That's a throwback. And then I have the Orgasm Highlighter from NARS. It's a loose highlighter. 
I have my Giorgio Armani in the shade. Um, I actually don't know what shade this is, but that's what it looks like. And then I have this Bridgerton X Pat McGrath highlighter. That's just so pretty. I would not wear this as a highlighter, but it is really, really pretty. It's just too gold for me. I'll probably put that on my eyes or something. But I guess if you blend it out, it looks okay on my skin tone. But yeah. And then I have this Dose of Colors highlighter in the shade Fuego. This is so old. Let me see if it still works. Yeah, it still works, but it's a little light for me. But I don't know. That was one of my favorites at one point. And then I have this um, Becca highlighter in Champagne Pop. Oh, it's broken. I was not expecting that. Oh. Dang, I thought I was doing something. I need to repress that. Champagne Pop was that girl at one point. If you know, you know. It was like a big deal. And then I have Becca Chocolate. What is it called? Chocolate Geode. Hopefully this one's not broken. Let's see. Okay, no. That one's fine. And that's all the highlighters that I have in this drawer. Now I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to reorganize these back. Because that was actually kind of hard. Maybe I should take this time to actually try to reorganize it nicely. Okay, and then I do have a few products lined in the front of my drawer, so I'm going to just show you guys really quick. I have this ColourPop eyeshadow palette in the Coast is Clear, and I just have it right here so I can reach for it easily. And I also have the Clear Air palette from ColourPop. I like these palettes. I think they're really cute. So I just so I just keep those right there. And then I have this Anastasia blush that I'm like on the fence about decluttering. I just can't make up my mind. I have my Fenty Sunstalker. What is it called? Face Eye Highlighter Palette. And this is what it looks like. I bought this so I could have another um, Coco Naughty. And this one also got hard pan for some reason. So don't know what to do about that i have my aoa flawless powder that doesn't even belong in this drawer i have two eyeshadow not eyeshadows eyelashes that i'm supposed to reuse don't know where those ones went and then over here i just have a little hello kitty compact mirror that also does not belong here and then my concealer palette from mac that looks disgusting that was everything in this drawer and now i'm gonna move you guys over here so i can show you guys my lip products Next to my vanity, I have these little five drawers from Michaels. And then on top, I have this little acrylic organizer. It's actually two acrylic organizers stacked on top of each other. And I use it for storage for my lip products. In this first little drawer, I have my Clean Girl Yummy Fresh from CoverGirl. Next, I have some lip oils from ALA and some NYX glosses. And then my Empty Dior lip oil for whatever reason next i have all of my maybelline lifter glosses i love these glosses then i have my fenty lip gloss collection my nyx this is milky gloss collection i actually need to go through these because some of them are not looking too good this drawer has a different this drawer has a combination of things. I have a Pat McGrath gloss. I have some Dior lip glosses, Juvia's, Dose of Colors, Makeup Revolution, more Dose of Colors, some Nikki K, MAC. Next I have oops. Next I have my e.l.f. lip lacquers. Then I have my NYX Butter Glosses and my Bear With Me. Just some NYX glosses in there. In this drawer I have some Morphe glosses and liquid lipsticks. I have two Armani lipsticks. More, more Morphe lipsticks. Then I have this um, Essence lip gloss. A lip gloss from Morphe and then two Revolution X Factor Boy glosses. Next, I have some e.l.f. glosses, some Pat McGrath, 
MAC, NYX, Essence, ELF, NARS, more Pat McGrath, MAC. In this drawer I have some ColourPop lip glosses, some NARS, Revlon, Il Maquillage, Hank and Henry, more ColourPop, Milk, and then this Rosen lip gloss. In this next drawer, actually in the last drawer I have some mascaras, lash glue, eyeshadow primers, um, what are these, the NYX Jumbo eye pencils, glitters, eyebrow stuff, a nail clipper, just random little things in that drawer. I almost skipped my little Hello Kitty drawer, so let me show you guys really quick what I have in these. I have this little organizer that I got from AliExpress, and inside of it I have my Chanel lip glosses. I have a few, and then I have a lip balm from Chanel as well in here. And I just keep that right there on top of these other little drawers. So I got these little Hello Kitty drawers from Miniso, and then I also ordered some off of AliExpress, and they're the exact same thing, so I just stacked them on top of each other. And let me show you guys. So in the first one, I have my Merit Lipsticks. Then I have my Merit Lip Oils. Some of my mini Fenty Lip Glosses. Then I have my Plastic Boy Revolution Lipsticks and my Juvia's Place Lipsticks. And this one... Aren't these so cute? And then I just added the little bling around them on the top. I just thought that was a cute little detail. And then the last one, which is Pachaco, I have my NYX Fat Lip Oils. I love those. They're so good. And that's everything in these drawers and these drawers. So moving along, moving over here, I do have this little setup. And I just have some Crumb Shop Hello Kitty travel size skincare stuff. And then in this top drawer, I have some lip pencils. I have some lash glues. My AOA buttercream shadows and some loose shadows. I have this one's empty. And then this one has some single shadows from ColourPop, Dose of Colors, LA Girl, Il Maquillage, Dose of Colors, um, MAC. And that's everything on top of my Michaels 5 drawer. So now we're going to go into the drawers. Now getting... Oh, actually, one more thing I have up top is this little jar. And the inside, I keep my makeup sponges and puffs and things like that. And then I have my coaster and my glass of water. So in this top drawer, I have all of my setting sprays and my primers. I also have some moisturizers, eye cream. This is becoming one of my favorite, eyesh not eyeshadow primers. This is becoming one of my favorite primers. I also have some health primers. I have some more on the side here. This is also a good primer. This is the Revolution X Plastic Bar Primer. That's a good primer. I have my Armani Primer. More e.l.f. NYX. More e.l.f. And just, you know, some random little things. I have some setting sprays from Revolution, Anastasia, Shot to Say, Iconic, Elf, Revolution, this is one of my favorites. I have NYX, Charlotte Silberry, Milani, and then these are actually new from Real Techniques. These are some setting sprays. This is a glow finish blend extender. And then this one is the satin finish. And then I have some stuff back here. These are the Kiss Lash Falscara stuff. And I have some more setting sprays back here. And that's everything in this top drawer. In this second drawer, I have some foundations, some concealers, just some more face products. I have my Anastasia. I have Morphe, Fenty, Oh, This one I like to use as a cream contour. I have Clinique. I have Mor not Morphe, uh, Maybelline. Then I have some Merit products. These are actually bronzing balms. And then these are stick foundations. And then I have a Wet n Wild 
powder foundation. Next, I have some concealers. I have the Morphe um, High Peak Concealer. That's a backup. I have my Glow Wands for Elf. I have Morphe Anastasia NYX and this bronze thing from Drunk Elephant. And I have this pressed powder from Makeup Revolution. Back here, I have this Plastic Boy highlighter. So pretty. I have my Marc Jacobs. What is it called? Guilty highlighter. So pretty. And then I have some Morphe bronzers. This is, what is it called again? Phenom. And then I have the Ariana, not Ariana, Avani Greg one in the shade Bombas. This one's so pretty in the summer. In this last little compartment, I have some Merit blushes. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. And then I have this highlighter that I recently got from Essence that I'm so mad about because it looks so pretty online and it's just giving dry and patchy in person. I also have a little Il Maquillage concealer. It looks gross. I see that all the time. I have a bronzer from ColourPop in the shade paradise city and then i have a putty bronzer from elf and that's everything in this drawer in this third drawer i dedicated the entire drawer to shop and say because i work with them and i enjoy their products so much and i just i just love having all their products in one spot so when it's time to work i can just grab what i need and create what I need to create with all of their products. They have some really, really good products. So I'm just going to show you guys a few of my favorites. So we're going to start off with this setting powder. This is their Flawless Setting Finishing Powder. You can kind of see what it's a dupe for. Um, I also really like their Air Cream Foundation. I have the shade D2 and it's really nice. Um, these lip glosses are really, really nice from their Cosmic Cowgirl Collection. This foundation is one of my favorites. This is their soft matte foundation. They also have, um, this foundation is also really good too, the matte vision one. I, I actually enjoy their matte formulas, but people tend to tell me that their um, glowy formulas look better on me, but they just don't last as long for me because I am so oily. And yeah, they have some, look, let me tell you guys, don't sleep on these little palettes from their Cosmic Cowgirl collection. These are gorgeous. I've created looks with both of them and they are so pretty like this one right here let me show you guys look at that so pretty they did not come to play okay that's enough about that drawer in this next drawer I just have some pressed um in this next drawer I just have some press on nails I want to kind of make this my press on nail drawer but I haven't moved all my press on nails to this drawer yet so that's that and then in this last drawer i just have some extra lashes some tools and some random random little things and that's everything in these drawers next to these drawers i have my clear acrylic cart and i have all of my eyeshadow palettes on this one cart so i'm gonna actually pull it out so that we can go through it okay so it's way later in the day because i had some technical difficulties with my camera but we're gonna get into my eyeshadow palette collection all the Cara Beauty palettes that I have that are this size are right here. In the front, I do have two of these. What? Oh, these are Rude Cosmetics. I don't know why it took me so long to figure it out. But I have two of these Rude Cosmetic palettes in the front. They're so pretty. I'm not going to show you guys each and every palette that I have because that would take a very long time. But if you would like me to do a desert, if you guys would like me to do a dedicated video where I show you every single eyeshadow palette, let me know. This is from Cara Beauty. This is their pressed glitters. It's so pretty. And then I have, I'm going to show you guys a few of my favorite ones because there's so many. I think this one is like probably my favorite one. This is their like totally palette. And okay, okay. Let me, let's try this way. These shades are just so pretty look at these pinks just so pretty and then I also really like let's see hmm was it called the essentials or gentle teaser I 
think it was a gentle teaser that I liked out of all of them. I hope this was it. This was not it. Ugh. It was the other one. Since I have this one open, I'll just show you guys. This is what it looks like. I do like that this has a black in here, and I don't think I've played in this one. Oh, I have. Never mind. But I need to play in it some more. I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes, so I don't put too much pressure on myself as far as using them up or whatever. I just like to have them, and it's just nice to have a collection of eyeshadow palettes that I've used at some point, so... This is the one that I really liked. I like all, I love neutrals, I don't know. I just love neutral palettes, so I have that one. I have eight through 21, basically. And then I stopped. And then I have a few of these palettes from ColourPop. I have the Your Golden palette. And I also have the, ooh. and then I also have the Gone Matte palette. I love this one. I need to pull this one out. Next, I have some Norvina palettes. I have number, I think this is number, oh yeah, it's number four. And mine is Used and Abused. I really love, let me show you guys real quick. I really love this shade right here. That shade is so pretty. Let's swatch it. Look how pretty this color is. I love shades like that. So yeah, I have that one, I have the purple one, and the orange one as well. The pink one was my favorite. I also have the Glam Light Barbie palette. Sorry if it's a little loud in the background. But I have that one. And then I have my magnetic palettes. I don't really feel like pulling these out, but this one just has a bunch of random eyeshadows in it and then this one has all of my gimme glow shadows in it and i only have like maybe eight nine of them so it's not that many so we're gonna go down to the next shelf now down to this shelf i have some cara beauty palettes over here i have the orange pop i have the purple haze and then i have these two butterfly ones i have scorpio sagittarius aquarius and capricorn oh I kind of need to set these up here, okay? And then I have my Strawberry Dream Palette from Lunar Beauty. This is so old, but I used to love this palette. I thought this was like the prettiest thing. So I have that. And then I have... What is this? Oh, this is actually a face palette. This is my Sephora, Sephora Pro face palette. I need to put this down here with my other face palettes. And then I have, oh, I'm actually skipping one. I have my Pat McGrath Mothership Mega Palette. This is from one of their holiday collections, child. I do not know. But this is what it looks like. And I actually found this at Marshall's for $34.99. So I did not pay anything close to full price for this. And I barely use it. I need to pull this. I really need to pull some of my eyeshadow palettes out. Because that is actually a shame. Next I have my. Uh oh. Can I get it out? Can, can I? This is their culture palette. So pretty. Look at these shades. So pretty. I have my Tammy X Revolution palette and my Morphe, what is it called? No Silent Nights palette. And this is what that one looks like. Okay, so those are my eyeshadows on this side. And then I have my ColourPop, Urban Decay, Dose of Colors. I have the Iconic. I'm gonna pull this one out. I have the iconic Anastasia Jackie Aina palette. I still have mine. I don't see myself ever getting rid of this because this palette is just iconic. Look at her. So I have that. I have some adept single shadows in this. This is my Latte 2 palette from Dominique Cosmetics. 
I used to love this thing so much. I still do. Still very pretty. Let's just move these. Next, I have my Divine Neutrals from Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. My Amrezy palette. This was another really good one that I got some pretty good use out of. And I have two more Cardi palettes. And I have my Transitions palette from Dominique Cosmetics. That's what that one looks like. And then I have the box to my Mothership palette that's on my vanity. But the palette is not in there. So, yeah. So now moving along to this row, I have my BFF palette from BH Cosmetics. This one is so pretty. I used to love that shade. It's called BFF. Is it called BFF? Oh no, it's called Messy. Let me swatch that shade for you guys since it was a favorite. Oops, dropped the palette. This is what it looks like. That shade is so pretty. I used to love that palette. And then I have my Mercury Retro Gay palette. This one always seems to break and I have to repress it. But this is what it looks like. And I have my Naughty Nudes palette from Huda Beauty. The Empowered palette from Huda Beauty as well. And then I have my BH Cosmetics. What are these called? Sweet Shop palettes. Pink. I have the brown one, the green one, the orange one. Oh, the red one, the, the blue one, the orange one. And then I have these BH Cosmetics um, palettes in the back. Let me see, is there an easy way to get this out? There is not. So yeah, I have all of the BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop palettes. And then I have their 90s palette, their 2000s palette, and their 80s palette. And I'm gonna show you guys what these ones look like since we're right here just really quick. Maybe I should put them in order. And that is all my eyeshadow palettes on this row. Okay, on this last row, I have some Pat McGrath palettes. I have these two Celestial Norvina palettes and that's what that one looks like. Oops, sorry. That's what that one looks like. And then this one looks like that. Allure 1. Allori 3, the Bronze Rustic Palette, and I Live, I Love. And then I have my Pat McGrath Bridgerton Palette, and this one just looks like that. Then I have a few more Juvia's Palettes. I have the Nomad Palette, the Warrior, and the tribe. I gave my sister my Warrior 2 palette, so I don't have that one anymore. And then I have a few of my Natasha Denona palettes. I guess I don't have to open these ones. I could just show y'all what they look like. I don't have any full-size Natasha Denona palettes, and the only reason why I have these is from when I was subscribed to BoxyCon because they had them. Then I have my Ethereal Bloom palette. And then I have my ColourPop palettes. I have the Wild Child, I have Brown Sugar, this is so old, I have my Hello Kitty and Friends, um, The Child, Baroque, and I have their larger pan palettes at Forest Sight. California Love, The Nightmare Before Christmas, and then what is this one called? Lush Life. And then I have Pop Up Girls, Hocus Pocus, and Mulan. I have to stop buying my I have to stop myself from buying Colourpop palettes because it just became way too much but these are the ones that I kept because I actually decluttered a lot too. This is their second Hocus Pocus palette and then their Midnight Masquerades palette. And then I also have this Hershey's Kisses 
palette from what's called glam white so pretty and then the rest are actually face but actually no i have a couple more eyeshadow palettes i have this little quad from ColourPop, so pretty and then i have this palette from the mac x cruella de vil collection i love that movie i need to watch it again oh i have pressure everywhere so let me see if i can get it out okay there we go so it's like four eyeshadow palettes broken up into one i mean that come into one so they all break off like this and they come together to make this little palette and each little part has two shadows in it so this one has black and white blue and silver you get the vibe let me put this back in here the, this is more so a collector's item than anything for me even though it might not even matter to anybody else but i like it so i'm just gonna keep it let me put these back And those were all of my eyeshadow palettes so let's let me get up off this floor okay so next to my eyeshadow palettes I have this little shelf which is mainly for decoration but I do have my eyelash collection on this shelf so let me show you guys so I have these large acrylic drawers and in each drawer I just have a whole bunch of Ioni eyeshadows I mean Ioni lashes this is the first drawer the second drawer the third drawer the fourth drawer The fifth drawer is actually a combination of Kiss eyelashes and just a few Ioni lashes down there. And that is how I store all of my eyelashes. And that was my entire makeup collection. If you guys watched this all the way to the end, then go ahead and drop a pink heart in your comments so I can know you were here. Thank you so much for watching this video. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.